Here's the truth, partner. I don't need these glasses. They're computer glasses, so theoretically it's better for me to look at screens with, but I don't need them. Sometimes I wear them to separate myself from what's going on. And today, what is going on is Tinder. That's right, we are sneaking a peek at people's relationships on r slash Tinder, on their early courtships, on their early dating. I'm, I'm already tired of the glasses. I'm putting them down now. Let's take a gander. I don't think I'm doing this flirting thing right. The bandana look on you is so cute. Thanks, it's because it covers my long ass forehead. Can I race Hot Wheels on your forehead? Sure thing, partner. POV your forehead. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's good flirting, wouldn't we say? Uh, to me, this is a W, okay? Well, you know what? Today, today we're gonna rank these by W's and L's. We're gonna say, we're gonna say if this is a W or an L. That's what, that's what we're gonna do. That's our deciphering today. For me, frankly, this is a W, and I think she'll respond. Any good comments on this? LMA will keep us updated. It's funny, but it's like, what is she supposed to say to that? Haha, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Update, uh-oh, update. It's been 16 hours and still no response. It's safe to say I lost the battle. It's okay, though, because if she doesn't want me at my silliest, she doesn't deserve me at my goofiest. That's showbiz, baby. It's, not, it's nice to be able to be with somebody that's silly, goofy. You know, I, I, I always think that uh, your comfort level is, is based on the types of memes you're able to send people. If you got them memes that are like pretty advanced and uh, not something that you would share with everybody, you know what I'm saying? And you send it to that girl. Mm -hmm. And she responds with, oh yeah, that's the stuff. That's an A-plus relationship right there. Didn't think I'd get this far. I'm at a loss on what to say. Doggy. Yeah, we're fattening her up for Christmas dinner. LMAO, mayo, mayo. Okay, so I guess there was a there was a dog picture exchange before this. That's how I hit my protein requirements. Look up how much protein is in Golden Doodle. She looks delicious. Am I invited? So far, this is going pretty well. I don't know. It's kind of a delicacy. Very expensive to buy and raise. Sigh. What do I got to do? Okay, so what I'm looking at right now is a guy who has no idea how to seal the deal. This is a guy, this is a guy who's like, I'm at a loss on what to say. Just invite her over. She literally said, am I invited? Sigh, what do I got to do? And then just be like, unfortunately, you have to meet me for, for coffee this Friday. Or unfortunately, you know, um, you have to dress up and meet me at this, you know, steakhouse at 7 p.m. You know what I mean? There's like, this is a moment where this guy is afraid to pull the trigger. And trust me, I've been that guy before. I have been that guy. I'm almost always that guy, to be honest. Well, first of all, I need to vet you. How about a drink next? Blah, blah, blah. She's asking for it. Good job, by the way. Just go. Yes. It's just, this is only green flag. She's literally going, am I invited? That's a yes or no. Sai, what do I got to do? If you just keep talking to this woman after this point and you're like doing all these hypotheticals, she's not going to think you're serious about dating. She's going to get bored and move on. You got to seal the deal, man. Anything, just nothing about the dog anymore. LOL. Yeah. Short Kings rise. You should not go out with me if you're six foot or taller. Short Kings only. Oh, let's make a little ditty. <laughs> I'm a short, short, short little man because I'm shorter than six foot. I'm a short, short, short little man because I'm not even six foot. Let me just say something. I'm 5'10", and I might, I might even be lying about being 5'10". I might, truly, I might be 5'9 and a half, and I've just believed that I've been 5'10 this whole time, but I like to say that I'm 5'10". Anyway, I'm not a short guy, okay? Saying saying that six feet or taller is uh, is tall, I don't know. But I think, but, I, but you know, I, I'm, I'm micromanaging right now. I'm, uh, you know, I'm being weird. This is great. This is really nice. Good for her. Good for her for not being heightest. Let's sort by top. Let's, let's look at some good ones. Maybe uh, this month. Not even entertaining it anymore. Hey, Blake. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Any fun plans for this weekend? Not really. I'm just putting groceries away. How tall are you? Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've never had that problem because I'm just average height. I'm just completely average. I'm average in a lot of things, actually. As a married old who will never use Tinder, but is just here for the show, even I am so sick of this height crap, I wish that every guy who got asked this would reply that they're 6'6 before blocking, so these countless idiots will start feeling like there really are that many tall guys, but no tall guys want them. What is so great about dating a tall guy? And by the way, I have tall friends, okay? My tall friends are nice, okay? So, so not all tall friends are a problem. Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. 
Look, I'm just saying, I got tall friends, and they're nice people, so I have nothing against, nothing against tall people, but what is the advantage of dating a tall guy, huh? He can, what, he can reach and get you a, a box of cereal? Are you really that addicted to cereal that you need a man? Also, change where you put the cereal. Change where you put the stuff that you need. You don't need a tall guy for that. What, you want a, you want a lifted truck because tall guys have longer legs and they need to get up on a truck? Just get a truck. Just get a Toyota Tacoma. Huh? Get a lifted Ford F-150 used on eBay for like five thousand dollars. That's what that's what you could do. Here's a, here's a question. What if it was a short guy on stilts, but the stilts were surgically implanted in his leg? Is that guy tall? Yes, he's very tall. You look at him up here. He has to lean down to kiss you. Oh, you feel so little. You feel so little and small when you're kissing tall man. But he's got stilts stapled to his legs. Is he tall now? Is he good enough for you now? What if? What if he's too tall? What is what is too tall? Ladies, ladies, if you're watching this, is there such th a thing as a man who is too tall? Let me ask you this. You want a tall guy, but he's seven foot eight and his voice is three octaves lower than what you're able to hear. He sounds like a blue whale in the ocean. How's that? Is that what you want? I don't think you know what you're asking for. In fact, I don't even think you know that I have a, I have a surprise microphone right here this whole time. How I met my girlfriend of six months. Whoa, this photo is crazy. <laughs> You matched with blah, blah, blah. I love you. I literally love you. I love you more. Stop that right now. You're going to make me. I'm going to make you my husband. This is crazy. Just like I like them way high on the diagonal line, hot and crazy. Okay. Going out on a limb here, but this is USA Tinder, right? Something like that from someone from Europe would be absolutely unheard of, LMAO. Yeah, every time I travel, I meet American women. I'm surprised by how outgoing and flirty they are. Us Europeans are just way more reserved, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, this is really, this is really intense. This is something that is like, I have never seen or heard of anything like that, where your first words to somebody are, I love you. And the response is, I love you more. I could see that like, if you're, wasted at a club or a bar or something you know and he's like i love you i love your outfit and your hair and i love the way you move i love you so much i love your hair i love the way your nails are i love your fa i love you too man and just like you know making out on the on the floor i don't know i don't go to i don't go to clubs so i don't know what it's like you must be really handsome seems too easy uh to spelled incorrectly you know i th i think so too i really think that this guy has to be hot or he's got like pictures at an orphanage or like he's carrying a dog out of out of like a a, a building that's on fire you know what i'm saying i have a question though if this is your first moment saying i love you but like this is kind of it's honestly it's really cute to me but i'm also pretty fucking nuts if you start by saying i love you how do you down you date a little bit you you know you you do that whole thing right but then there comes a point where you should you should actually say that you love the other person right you should say i love you and mean it not in this cute you know f first sentence ever spoken way but in like a sincere like hey we've gotten to know each other I love you for who you are. I'm in love with you. Maybe that's the next thing. Maybe the next thing isn't I love you. Maybe it's I'm in love with you. That's the secret formula, Mr. Krabs. Girl takes picture in skimpy outfit. Reddit, wow, this totally invalidates the entirety of her as a human being searching for love and affection. Oh, so apparently a lot of people didn't like that she was wearing that outfit. You know what though? When I was on the apps, I had a I had a short little video of me shirtless in the in the mirror. I did that. I don't know how long I had that up for though. I don't know what the rules are because you want to... You want to be like, hey, I got a little body going for me. You know what I mean? Because like, you know, you're speaking to the reptilian brain of the other person. You should just, you should show that, yeah, no, you got a little sum sum going on, right? But where's the balance? It's usually probably a picture of like you on the beach with your friends. You know what I mean? Like that makes it less forward, but I don't go to the beach and I don't have a lot of friends like that. You know what I'm saying? So I straight up in front of the mirror, cut plowy, shirt off, boom, boom. But then who wants that? Nobody wants that. If that lasts six more months, I'd be flabbergasted. DM me in six months. I'll let you know. Fair play, homie. <laughs> Rejections on height are the worst. Dude, what is up with all these height-based things? Chocolate chip greater than everything else. Come at me. No. Fine, I'll give you a pass. You're cute. Let me take you on blah, 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 at blah, blah, blah. Depends, cutie. How tall are you? 5'6". Too tall for you. I'm 5'1". We would look perfect. No, dwarf. That's just mean. That's really sh**. Also, 5'1 is quite short. Are you, like, negging this person? Are you... Are, is this a joke? Are people actually like this on the apps? That's just name-calling uh, based on personal... On a, on a physical appearance. That's so... Yikes. What would I do in that situation if somebody called me, like, a name based on how I looked? I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like that very much. Imagine someone deciding they are too tall for you. At 5'1", by the way. 5'1". She called you cute and then immediately roasts you right after. Yo, that is a bullet dodge. That's so... That's... Yes, that's the perfect framing for this. She's wild. You don't have to respond. Just be like, 
uh, and then unmatch or whatever, you know? My hope is that she's joking, but if she says dwarf, that's kind of crazy. That's really mean. I'm 5'1", and I've never said or even thought the word tall to describe myself. That's insanely dumb. I'm a 5'9 woman, and this guy is five inches taller than her, and it's not enough. That would be like me saying 6'2 is not tall enough. Yeah, that's, yeah, that is kind of weird. Again, what do you want? Do you want the cereal that bad? I get it. I get it if it's Cocoa Krispies. I get it if it's Cocoa Puffs. But if it's something like Fruit Loops, you're out of your mind. Actually, Fruit Loops are good too. Man, I'm craving cereal right now. I'm 6'4 and was told the other day that I was too short for a 5'2 woman. She only dates people above 6'8, apparently? That doesn't make any sense. That's At that point, that's like fetish territory. That can't be real. Unless she just bought a king-sized mattress, like a California king mattress, and she needs somebody to be that tall to make use of her purchase. She needs to be dating somebody who's above 6'8 in order to completely write off her bed. Damn, bro, I'm 5'6", but I do put it on my profile to avoid this situation. Maybe try doing that so they don't have to ask and avoid the situation altogether. Maybe they think if they match without it, then they'll have a foot in the door, but being upfront would definitely filter out short and shallow ladies like this one. <laughs> Everybody's just calling each other short. Dude, being short is not a, a, a problem. Well, I I don't know. I I'm Again, I don't know. But I've never met somebody who's shorter and thought, ha, ah, short, I've never done that. But you know who has done that? Drake. Okay, Drake did that. Who did he do it to? Kendrick Lamar. Okay, told him to do some push-ups, and he just took call, called him like a size seven shoe and stuff like that. The problem is he did it to 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 Kendrick Lamar, and now Drake is gone. That's what happens when you mess with short people. Got mad at me because I typed her name in lowercase. Of course, I'm here for you. Enjoy the rest of your day, blank. Thanks, blank. Uh, have a great rest of your evening and get plenty of rest too. Hey, I noticed you started typing my name with a lowercase letter instead of uppercase like before. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way and made me feel a bit weird. I've always been cool with you, so it threw me off. Anyway, I think I'm going to pass on that date this Saturday. Have fun chatting with everyone else. Take care. And that was at three in the morning. I was typed at three in the morning and he didn't respond because it was typed at three in the morning. What a strange message to send somebody at 3.01 a.m. And then because she didn't get a response like she wanted at 1.40 p.m. in the afternoon, she goes, hello. And he says, hey, give me 10 to 15 minutes. I'm in a meeting right now. She says, okay, give me a call back. You start typing someone's name in lowercase instead of uppercase like before. I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to I'm trying really hard to see her perspective. I mean, it might feel weird. It might feel to her that he's like not as excited about her anymore because her name isn't capitalize or maybe he's just getting more comfortable and he's not you know he's not having to capitalize it all the time i don't know that's weird man we got an overthinker here we got a grade a overthinky that's a weird pet peeve i understand that texts can be misconstrued all the time but then going deeply into the grammatical like capitalization and stuff their capitalization is is done it's over it's not what it used to be like it's a different it's a stylistic choice it is interesting though i would say that he must have capitalization off her name begins with a z though so like the whole capitalization thing won't get triggered in ios so you know maybe he made a point to capitalize it before i don't know if it is true if he did use to capitalize it and now he doesn't anymore Maybe something is off. Because I'm thinking of myself and how I capitalize things and do lower cases and stuff. She might be right. However, you can never say that out loud. You can never say out loud, I don't like the way you're capitalizing things. It's odd. Because I do think, I do kind of think like this lady. I'm not going to lie to you. I do, so part of me, a part of me will analyze punctuation backwards and forwards. I'll be like, okay, that was a stylistic choice. Why? This is different than it was before. Why? You know, when you establish a pattern and then you break the pattern, something has changed. Simply put, he doesn't find her attractive anymore. Look how hard I'm crossing my legs right now. I'm crossing my legs so hard right now. She has me, handshaking, deleting and reinstalling this app in her bio. We match every time. Blank, we got to stop meeting like this. It's getting a bit ridiculous, to be fair. We're like those exes. You know the ones who keep meeting up even though they know they shouldn't. Haha, <laughs> the ones that aren't actually compatible but are just really attracted to each other. Exactly. It's it's just us. How long do you think we have this time before you disappear until we reconnect again? So romantic. Unsure. Might stick around for the weekend. A whole weekend? We've never made it that far before. I won't make any promises though. That's also the most accurate use of that emoji. I've never had the opportunity to use it. See, this is what I like about you. You're unpredictable. Okay? It's actually my favorite emoji. I probs overuse him, TBH. I'm going to start using him. I'm actually very predictable. You know I'll end up coming back and we'll post swipe right. Damn, that's so true. Go on a date! Go on a date! Seal the deal! Do a FaceTime! Do one FaceTime! See how that goes! And then go for coffee! And if coffee goes well, 
then go out for drinks and dinner. I actually got a notification on my phone. It just said blank liked you, swipe to see if it's a match, and it like shows you that blurry picture because it wants you to pay to see who it is. But I was like, no, I know who it is. Ha <laughs> ha, see, even your phone knows the likelihood of us matching now. It's just who we are, blank. We just can't stay away from each other, I guess. I'll tell you how I see this playing out. Lay it on me. We keep doing this for about six months, just back and forth, matching anytime I remake an account until one of us starts seeing someone else. Radio silence for a year, both wondering what the other's doing, and then that relationship ends. We match again, talk, and still don't meet up. Soon after the other one gets into a relationship, same thing happens. Don't speak until that relationship ends. It's a cycle until we're both 45 and we decide we should actually meet up and live happily ever after. Not gonna lie, I half thought you were gonna go, I'll tell you how this is gonna play out and then delete your account. And I was gonna be like, damn, I respect the commitment. But also, yes, I think you've nailed it. Damn, that's a missed opportunity. Yeah, sorry, you've missed your moment. Ugh, I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken for you. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the longest we've ever spoken. I think you're right. I think it's cute. We keep matching though. It's our destiny. At this point, at this point, she goes, I think it's cute we keep matching, though. At this point, you got the next move has to be like, well, should we get this over with? You know, like, well, let's let's give it a shot. Hey, eh? let's try. Let's do this weekend. You know what I mean? At, at this point, this is when you pull the trigger. I think personally, this is a W so far. This is so far a W. I just realized that at the beginning of this episode, I said I was going to do some W's and L's. I haven't done that yet. L's for all the all the all the short shamers. Uh, W's for th my short kings. Uh, that's where we're caught up. <laughs> it's our destiny. You've actually shown up on my suggestions on Snapchat the other day because you're in my contacts. Do you have each other's phone numbers? And I was suddenly hit with all of our many memories together. Those we haze and two sentence conversations. It's a real life love story. Someone should write a song about us. That time you gave me your number and then vanished from my life after like a single text. Heartbreak emoji. No, no, that's bad. Now it's bad. This is an L. That's that looks weird. This looks too needy now. We'd make Titanic irrelevant. I'm an awful texter, to be fair. You do strike me more as a pigeon mail kind of gal, to be fair. Not a bad recovery. You, you know, a little, a little desperado up here, and now you're back. Okay? To be fair, it's a lost art. With good reason. Name. You're being left behind with the times. Is this where you delete your account and I never hear from you again? Whoa, whoa, no. We have a script name. We can't break what we have. I think we broke what we have, given the length of this conversation. So what do we do now? Marriage, I guess. No! Just go on a debt. Why are you having her have to ask you, man? Some women, you know, women like like a guy to make that move and be like, so what do we, you know, you make the decision. So it'll be like, I guess we have to go on a date then. How's this Saturday? You know, you gotta do a move. You gotta pull the trigger. Cause, cause otherwise you're just talking and talking and talking and there's nothing happening. I, I don't know. I am scared. I am scared of these things because I am scared. I'm also in a relationship, but I'm scared of these because, you know, the whole thought of like pulling the trigger to go on that first date is scary. You go there, you're all nervous. You get, co I get coffee. I'll, I'll never do drinks and dinner because I get really like nauseous with food and stuff. I get weird like that. Yeah, no, this is, this is horrifying. But, but at this point, if you're in the market and you're interested and you have a rapport with this person, then pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Damn. So what do we do now? Marriage, I guess. What is your plan, sir? Do you want her to be like, no, we should go on a date. You got to initiate that. Also, I like how she says, we. Let me just go back here for a second. She says we, so I think she's Scottish. Very fun. I suppose so. We could pick out a ring on the first date. Oh! She's she's giving you the green flag. Okay, date time. Date time. Hello. Seal the deal, sir. A first date? I don't know, Blank. I don't think we're allowed to meet in person. I'm pretty sure the universe would rupture. Stop! You're scared. I know that because I've been there. I see that you are scared, okay? Oh, you're, oh, you're missing out. Oh, make the plan then. Make the plan! I'm pretty sure the universe would rupture. How are we getting married then? You see, I clearly haven't thought this through. I think you're right though. Although, we've already broken the script once today. You- Stop! Stop it! I'm so annoyed right now. Is anybody else really annoyed right now that he's not doing- Is is this super obvious to me that she's clearly indicating that she's interested in him and that she wants, you know, she's trying to initiate a first date right here. My guy, she's being very patient with you right now. She's just like, let's let this little boy play his little game and then we'll go on a date. And then it's going to be a weird date because you're not definitive. You got to pull the trigger, man. Because here's the thing. If, if you're if you're showing that you're not able to pull the trigger on these things, on these things that are a little risky and, you know, interesting and stuff, then, then a couple of things could happen. She might think like, maybe you're a little boring. Maybe you're a little scared. Maybe you're a little immature. You're not ready for a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what is going on? 
hold on. Just saying, exactly. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. See, this is why we got divorced. I'm an innocent in all of this. You always throw that in my face as if I've, you've never done anything wrong. Name one thing. One thing in our history that I've ever done wrong. You could never, and you know you couldn't. Using normal text message instead of WhatsApp for a start. Okay, so they're definitely in the UK. And don't even get me started on the time when you didn't even add me on Snap. That's funny. They just talked about that. That's cute. <laughs> you know full well I couldn't add you on Snap then. We hadn't matched enough times at that point. We gained a new method of communication with each match. I didn't know that was the minimum amount of matches we had to make. Apologies. Okay, well, they're they're flirting, I guess. It's okay. We've reached the milestone now, or at least I hope it's you. I may have just added some stranger. I haven't got any notifications. Say psych right now. Ha ha ha. Cute. Okay, so they're adding each other on Snapchat so they can visually talk to each other, I guess. But I don't, I don't like Snapchat. I don't understand it. Did you actually add someone? Stop. You're actually making me wonder. No, I'm being serious. You're such a liar, right? Right? Wrong. Who did you add? <laughs> That's really, this now is cute. There was a point of like uncomfortability, but now how are you going to go back to the date thing? How are you going to segue back into the date thing? By the way, I got my blood drawn. If you're worried about this bruise, don't worry. I got my blood drawn. This is, this is, it's, it ended up being kind of cute, but still, how are you going to go back to the freaking, how are you going to go back to the date? How are you going to get to that topic without trying to shoehorn that in? You had your window of opportunity. You know, if you really wanted a, a girlfriend, like a partner, if you're serious about finding a partner or a girlfriend, then you would have, you would have pulled the trigger, but you're kind of afraid. You know, I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, you're both certainly on the wavelength in terms of humor. It's time to just schedule a date. I think I agree. I think so too. I think there is a deal that needs to be sealed. That's what I think. I think there's a study going around right now where like young people are having significantly less, you know, hokey pokey time than they used to. And I think that's probably true. Do you know why I think that's true? I think it's true because people are terrified. They don't know how to pull the freaking trigger. They don't know how to go on these dates, man. The real question is how many times do you need a match until you understand that what you're looking for has been there the whole time? Also, who did you add? It was her. She was just playing. That's really cute. Gonna just put this here because you all keep asking. We're going out this Thursday. There we go. Yay! Good for you! That's great! We've had three dates. Hey, Blank, it's been nice getting to know you over the last few weeks, but I'm not really feeling a huge romantic connection. You've been nothing but a gentleman and don't want to lead you on. I wish you the best of luck with everything, and I know you'll make someone very lucky one day. Take care. Right. Sorry again about how I look. Dude. Man. Guys! People! Hey! You know what? You shouldn't do that. You probably shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? In life, just don't don't apologize for things that are A, out of your control, and B, something that, you know, if it is in your control, then it just means you need to groom better or, like, shave or pluck your eyebrows or, or, or whatever, you know? Like, like, there's nothing good that comes of this. And you know what else, too? Beautiful women have beautiful friends. Did you know that pretty girls have pretty friends? And you ever consider maybe if you say something stupid to a girl that you're interested in, then you are off the books forever. But if you don't say something stupid and then you go, oh, cool. And then you go out and you work out and you and you shave and you, you try to look good and you start flossing your damn teeth and, and all that stuff. And then you could come back stronger, cooler, smarter, more talented and more excellent and successful. Then that same person would be like, oh, I remember him. He was he was he wasn't that bad. Why didn't we? Why didn't things work out? Maybe he was a little bit of a diamond in the rough back then. But now you do you do this. You're ruining your own success story. L, L, L. <laughs> I bless you with an L, sir. That dude is broken, man. But good on you, Op, for your transparency and tact. Actually, I would love this kind of message. I I wouldn't love it. Like I would be like, oh damn. I've got this weird thing where just about every single first date I have ever been on has ended up in a in a long-term relationship. I don't think I've ever blown a first date like that, which makes me even more nervous on a first date because I'm like, okay, if I'm going on this first date, it's probably going to end up in a relationship. And so I do a lot of like pre-work. You know what I mean? I, I do a lot of like, like pre-psychological like an analysis from their, you know, profile. And then like, you know, we'll get on a phone call or something. And, and by the time I've decided to be on a first date with you, chances are really high that I'm already like 80% down for a relationship. I can't imagine having three dates with somebody and not feeling a connection. Because why would you agree to the second one or the third one? I don't understand. Sorry again about how I look is a crazy response. I'm sorry that you're feeling self-conscious. And I know there's a lot of you out there that probably relate to this. I get it, dude. 
I've I've certainly felt this way in the past, especially when I was a lot younger, when I was like you know seventeen or sixteen. Well, even younger, probably in middle school actually. Uh, but uh, but like, look, I, you know, everybody's been through a phase where they don't feel good about how they look and they don't feel confident. But you got to just kind of set that aside and not spill that poison onto the person in front of you because it's only going to burn them. It's not gonna it's not gonna do anything good for you. They're gonna be like, hey, there's poison coming out of this guy. Maybe I avoid this guy because there's some some stuff coming out. Stop it. Seek seek uh, help a little bit on this. It I doesn't mean a dating coach, and actually a dating coach would probably do you a lot of good. I'm not going to lie to you, sir. God, this is sad. If a girl sent me this after three dates, I would not be thinking that my appearance had much to do with it. That's true. Yeah, clearly it's not your appearance. Like, you know, that got you the first date, really, didn't it? If it was about the looks, there wouldn't be a second date, lol. Interesting. And also, don't you kiss by the second, third date? So maybe she kissed you and maybe you got bad breath. I'd be worried more about that than your, than your appearance, my guy. I'd be more worried about that. Your halitosis. That response did nothing but reassure her that she made the right call. Thank you. Yes. Imagine being in a relationship with that guy who's so insecure that that bleeds onto you all the time. You get married to this guy. He's going to be really suspicious if you're working around like any attractive male ever in your entire life. He's going to be all like, well, he, I don't look like him. So, and he'll just implode. He'll implode next to you. You don't want that. You don't want that. I think that dude has gotten the same message a bunch of times before and it probably broke him. I've gotten those a lot too. And while well-meaning, in a way it can also be the worst kind of message because it gives the guy nothing to go off of. Guys are logical creatures. We are often going to think, well, if I did XYZ and Instead of ABC, maybe she would have wanted to see me again. No romantic connection can mean a million different subjective things, and it's brutal hearing that. I'd almost prefer if the date told me I was rude or something tangible I did wrong at times, since that's actually something I can file away for the future. However, being told you're so nice, etc., etc., but ouch. Nothing to do there. I also think by date three, dudes are really going to have their hopes up. It is brutal to get to date one. Never mind date two, three for a lot of guys. Is he ugly? No response. See, now we, now we got a little something to go off of here. She didn't, she didn't respond to that. That makes things interesting, doesn't it? That she didn't respond to that. She responded to a couple other things. She's not responding to this one. What's that about? Good Lord. If it's not looks, it's definitely personality. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a bit of that, like, you know, attention seeking dialogue. It's that like, oh, little old me. I'm sorry about my looks. Oh, stop. I know that it's probably coming from a place of pain, but this is only hurt. This is only making it worse. Okay. There are a lot of people who don't look like they can pull the, the the girls that they can. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of fellas out there who are punching way above their weight. And the girls that they're with love it. They love being the shiny, the shiny, you know, thing. You know what I'm saying? If they don't, they don't, as long as their guy is like secure and confident and all that stuff, that does, that does 80% of the legwork. I'm doing a lot of percentages today. I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing a lot of percentages. What am I, an accountant? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you folks. I got to go make lunch. I gotta go make lunch. I'm on a really strict regimen right now. I'm gonna, gonna, got a trainer. I gotta make lunch. So outro.